All right, as you can see, we are in the sim now. Our plane is loaded, and she looks beautiful. I like it. If yours looks like this, or even better, good job and congratulations. You have crashed your airplane. <laughs> Well, as you can see, my airplane did crash because I was going too fast, not paying attention. Just, But I did manage to get a screenshot off before we did it. And I'll use that <clears throat> inside our uh, thumbnail here to make our own thumbnail. So all you got to do is go open wherever your screenshots are. Mine are within the FSX folder. Right there, right before my plane crashed. <sighs> That's just the way it goes, I guess. There we go. That's how we're going to do our paint scheme. Logo. Get rid of their stuff. Get out of the way. Put more wires in there. There we go. Layer. Flatten. Okay. File. Save as. And we're just going to save this as a JPEG over top of our. Uh, over top of the DDD, the one in our aircraft folder that we made. Oh boy, got too much junk. Too much junk, people. JPEG, thumbnails, yes. Okay. Um, now, all you gotta do is uh, read, uh, go through your README. And it explains to you, you have to open up the PMDG simulations um, livery manager. I haven't done this yet, so if it messes up, I apologize. Dun, 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 dun. Going to export this livery. Yeah, so you just export it. We'll put it on our desktop and say Alaska Toot. Save. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a PTP file that you can upload to AvSim or wherever, and people can download it and use the uh, livery manager to install it. So, no sense in waiting on that to finish. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this series of tutorial and I hope to do some more for you in the future so leave me a comment uh, send me a message don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget who loves you guys see you later